This is Strip. We're here with Tyler Nixon. Right? That's correct, yeah. I got it right this time. You did, yeah. That was a good job. Now, we were just here at the Aftermath screening. So we just saw you in the movie Aftermath. What did you think of the trailer? Uh, well, it was actually the second time I've seen the trailer. So it was actually still new to me to see the clips that they used and everything. And uh, it was a bit exciting. It was kind of cool to see the faces on the, the viewers, too. So Very cool. Very cool. Now, now, how long have you been in the industry working? I'm coming on three years, actually. So, yeah, this October will be three years. So how, do, how does a young guy like you get into the industry? <laughs> I absolutely hate that question because I have no idea. You just, you just kind of fell into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till this day, I still pinch myself and be like, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, people would kill for this job, right? I know, yeah. Um, well, I, it all started with I, I met a, a lady who did casting for Playboy reality shows. Um, after a lot of um, talking me into doing it and a lot of encouragement, I actually end up doing it and then ran into a girl I went to high school with on one of those oh, wow. movies. Oh, yeah, so then she put me in touch with the agency and kind of things kind of trickled out from there. One thing leads to another, leads to another. Now, next thing you know, you're in one of Wicked Epic's movies. You know, it is, it is pretty crazy. And to work with one of the best directors in the yeah. industry, it was it's pretty amazing. How does it feel when you walk on the set the first time and you're thinking, oh man, this is like a movie, you know? Yeah, it was definitely very, very nerve-wracking. I, like I was saying in the earlier interview, I was almost brought in those same nerves that I had on the casting to sure. the first day. But they were so great. Both Brad Armstrong and Jessica Drake, they made me feel so comfortable and gave me the encouragement to use you know, to motivate me to do even better in the next scene. So if it wasn't for them being so great, I probably wouldn't be able to do as good of a job as I Sure, sure, absolutely. Now, what did you think about the concept of the movie when you first heard about it? I was actually very excited. I personally, you know, especially over the last few years, I've become more into characters and acting and kind of just diving into something unique and seeing where you could kind of take a character or a voice or something along those lines. So when I read the story, I felt it being very different from the cookie cutter porn, sure. and I was immediately amused and wanted to do this. It was just whether or not my, because I'm more of a director type of guy. I like, sure. I very, I respect good performances and good actors and stuff like that. So that was my concern, of whether or not I could bring it to my own standard let alone Pratt standard. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's tough to walk into a big budget movie like that and you're, you're thinking, oh, God, I've been doing these little gonzo scenes. I don't have no lines, you know. I just stand there, you know, and, and then now you got to come in and you got to act, you know, so that's got to be a big challenge, but uh, it seems like you've done fairly well with it. Well, yeah, it, it just goes back to where where I stand, you know, um, with my own artistic integrity and stuff like that. I like to do good material and I see the industry as not just going in there and having sex, it's a performance in all sorts of angles, whether it's uh, just the sex, whether it's a gonzo scene or if it's a, a dialogue driven movie, it's it's 100% performance. So um, I like to really bring, bring, bring whatever you can to whatever table is set for you. Absolutely, yeah, so that's my main focus is to Make sure I do. How long do you plan to stay in the industry? Um, go all that way. I don't know. Uh, right now, I like I love the industry. Sure. Like I hope as long as you guys could have me around, I would love to forever be in this industry. As for performing, um, who knows? You know, I, I don't I don't know, but I would hope to direct one day and somehow some have some sort of affiliation with the industry because right now it's like a little family of mine. It's a good group of people. Sure. Sure, sure. So when you're not doing when you're not doing big movies and you're not doing events or anything like that, what do you like to do in your free time if you have any? <laughs> if I have any. If you have any. That's the hard part is to get. I know you travel a lot. You know, so. I yeah, I spend a lot of my times alone in a hotel. But um, when I finally get time, I have the best group of friends that I've had since high school, and luckily oh. I grew up in the area that I work in, sure. so it's really easy for me to go to work, come back home, and have that real life 
you know atmosphere and I, I still live by the beach and i love to surf and oh, and go. snowboard and get out there you know there was some big waves just recently did yeah. you go out there i was actually in las vegas but i had a lot of friends i filmed down in newport and everything and oh, nice. caught the wedge pretty big oh, so nice. i'm pretty jealous but i got in this morning i was able to get wet a little bit so i i, I got it you know Got a little bit out of my system. <laughs> See, I used I used to be that guy driving down to the beach every weekend, you know, from Corona. But uh, at my age, if I got in there, I'd get hurt now with those big waves. Oh, really? You know, I don't I, I don't trust myself. Oh, come on, you could go to like you know what was it like Bolsa Chica? Well, yeah, and areas yeah, yeah. like I go to the pussy beaches. Yeah, okay, that's fine. As long as you're having fun, I think that's all that matters. <laughs> come on, I, I grew up surfing and competing yeah. in surfing, and now when I go out, since it's it's you know such long in between my sessions. I go out with a soft board or a foam board, and I'm just out there to have as uh, having good time. Yeah, absolutely. Go out there with two friends and have a good time. Perfect, perfect. All right, so if people want to find out more about you or follow you, you have an Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good yeah. stuff? Absolutely. You guys can follow me at Tyler underscore Nixon. That's on Twitter. And for Instagram, it'd be InstaLurk, L-U-R-K. Insta lurk. Yeah, I got on that pretty quickly. I, oh, nice. I'm a lurker, I'm a lurker oh, so I'm a, I, I felt like that fit. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us. We wish you best of luck. All right. Thank you.